had a couple days to reflect from the regional tournament. Just what stood out maybe about the way you guys played? Um, I think the crowd and the energy of Sooner Nation definitely helped in this um, big crowd of last weekend at regionals. Um, our pitching staff did what they do. Um, hitting was just unreal. It was like a hit parade. Um, I think, you know, that pass the bat mentality kind of actually worked in that. In that literally just showed it. But um, just a lot more, I think, freedom, fun. The crowd was awesome. But it was just a great energy to bring in the Super Regionals. Yeah, they're a strong team, competitive. Um, I think it's kind of cool just because we've never played Clemson before and they're such a new program, so I think that's going to be really cool for us. Um, but, yeah, they're, they deserve to be here just like anybody else, so it's going to be a good matchup, um, fun energy, and they definitely get after it, so it's going to be really fun. I think completely nothing. Um, I know that I have complete trust in the person in front of me and the person behind me, so I just go up there and kind of, I just think, hit the ball hard somewhere, and then the rest is going to take care of itself. But just knowing that this whole lineup is stacked and even our bench is stacked, so just knowing that if I don't come through, somebody else is going to, so that just allows me to do what I do. Um, travel ball, honestly, I just kind of went out there and just swung it no matter what. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really think of a game plan or mindset and all that. I kind of just went out there and played six games a day and every day and just kind of went after it. So here's definitely a lot more um, um, game to it. You know, there's a lot more mindset. There's a lot more um, just how I am mentally and physically that goes along with it. So definitely changed since travel ball. How much homework do you guys do on pitchers? I feel like every time we watch you guys, like, foul ball, name the situation, you guys are kind of walking over saying this or this, like, it's impressive to see how much homework do you guys do on these pitches? I would say we do a lot. We take a lot of pride in our preparation before games, um, but our in-game communication with each other is huge. Um, we could, Jada could tell me one pitch and she'll just sit and mouth something. It's like we know like our inner sign language, like I could just know what she's saying. So um, our, we do a lot of homework and we prepare a lot and just that in-game communication is something that's really cool to see in our team. Yeah, she moves the ball really well, um, throws hard. So I think um, it's going to be a really good matchup for us. Um, I think we've, throughout the season, we've also faced a lot of hard pitching and, you know, facing Jordy Ball every day. So that's something that helps us a lot too. But um, she's a competitor, Valerie Cagle. And um, I don't know her personally, but I've seen her. She's a competitor on and off the field. And um, that's something that uh, you got to respect, you know. So um, it's going to be a fun matchup. But I think just her and her game and just to see how our plans are going to be. So it's exciting. Um, honestly, just more of taking it all in the environment. This is our last Super Regional at Marita Hines, so I'm really looking forward to um, the crowd and Sooner Nation coming involved, but um, kind of just doing what we've been doing. There's no pressure to win. There's no pressure to lose. Just being out there and being neutral, um, but you know, you can't take it for granted. This could be our last games, and we're going to go out there and uh, make it not be. What's been the key to staying grounded during this win Um I think just playing free. Um, we don't really talk about winning. We don't really talk about losing. We've just been at a neutral state. So I think our heads have been in the right mind space um, pretty much all season long. So I just think um, there's not really any pressure and there's nothing on our backs that's making us say like three peat, three peat, three peat. We don't really feel any of that. We're just going out there and having fun. So. Yeah, it definitely, um, you know, put us in our place saying, hey, every team's going to come out here and try and beat you guys, so you can't take a game off. So it's more we learned a lot from that game and um, kind of just moving forward to we're not afraid to lose. Um, if it happens, it happens. We're going to keep learning and growing, but um, it's just not something we're afraid to do, and we know for sure that um, not many teams has – nobody has beat us twice. So even if we're going to beat us once and we're going to go out there and not let it happen again. So um, – you know, that loss definitely helped us throughout the entire season, and we're just going to go out there and do what we know how to do. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.